Hello children, geometry play vital role in mathematics. In geometry, we do come across point, line, plane and angles. These are the main concepts which we have to get understood. The entire geometry is depend upon the basic concepts of these. So, we need to be get understood well of these concepts. Today, we shall see the different kinds of angles when two lines are intersected by a transversal. Children, here we have two lines, line L and line M. These are intersected by a transversal T. Now, you can see when these two lines are intersected by the transversal, it formed eight angles. Now, we mention that one. Here, this is angle 1 here and angle 2 here and angle 3 here and angle 4 here. Here it is angle 5, here it is angle 6, here it is angle 7, here it is angle 8. The children now, this transversal intersected these two lines. It formed eight angles. Now, we see the angle 1 here, angle 2 here and angle 3 here and angle 4 here, angle 5 here, angle 6 here angle 7, angle 8. Children, you can see that angle 1, 2, 7, 8 are exterior angles. Angle 3, angle 4, angle 5, angle 6 are interior angles. Now, we see the different classification of these angles angle 1 and angle 5, these two are corresponding angles, angle 1 and here this angle 5 and here this angle 2 and angle 6 are corresponding angles, angle 3 and angle 7 are corresponding angles, angle 4 and angle 8 are corresponding angles. Now, we see angle 3 and angle 5 are alternate interior angles. Similarly, angle 4 and angle 6 are alternate interior angles. Now, we see angle 1 and angle 7, these two are alternate exterior angles. Angle 2 and angle 8 these two are alternate exterior angles. Now, if we see this angle 4 and angle 5, these two are interior angles on the same side of the transversal. Similarly, angle 3 and angle 6 are also interior angles on the same side of transversal. Now, children, here the two lines are not parallel. Now, we see if these two lines are parallel, what happens? Okay, children, here we have two parallel lines L and M and intersected by the transversal T. Now, we check the corresponding angles. Now, I am taking the angle 1 here and angle 5 here. Now, we check these two. I am placing angle 1 over this angle 5. It is very clear that these two angles are equal. So, when two lines are parallel and intersected by a transversal, then the corresponding angles are equal. Now, we check the same property with other corresponding angles. Now, I am taking angle 2 here and angle 6 here. 
these two are corresponding angles. Now we check whether these two are equal or not. I am placing the angle 2 over angle 6. Very clear that these two are equal. Now we check another pair also. I am taking angle 3 and angle 7. Now I am placing the angle 3 over angle 7. Very clear, these two are equal. And once again I will prove, I will verify the result by these two corresponding angles. Now I am keeping this angle 4 over this angle 8. Very clear, these two are equal. So when two lines are parallel and a transversal intersect, the corresponding angles are equal. Now we check this with alternate interior angles. Now I am taking angle 3 here and angle 5 here. Now I am placing angle 3 over angle 5. Very clear, these two are equal. Now another pair of alternate interior angles I am taking. This is angle 4 and this is angle 6. I am placing this angle 4 over angle this 6. These two are equal. So, when two lines are parallel and a transversal intersect them, alternate interior angles are equal. Now, we check the property or alternate exterior angle. Now, I am taking angle 1 here and angle 7 here. I place this angle 1 over angle 7. These two are equal. Now, we will check with angle 2 and angle 8. Now, I place angle 2 over angle 8. These two are equal. So, children, when two lines are parallel and a transversal intersect them, the alternate exterior angles are equal. Now, we check another property. I am taking angle 4 and angle 5. Now, we check these two. Now, we take a straight line. I am placing over this. So, now I place these two angles on a line. Angle 4 and angle 5 form a linear pair means angle 4 and angle 5, sum of them is 180 degrees. Now, we check the result with other two. Now, I take angle 3 and angle 6. These two are also interior angles on same side of the transversal. Now, we check whether these two form linear pair or not. Here I am placing angle 6, here I am placing angle 3. These two form linear pair, means angle 6 plus angle 3 is equal to 180 degrees. Children, similarly you can verify by taking this angle 1 and angle 8 and angle 2 and angle 7 and you can verify that sum of exterior angles on the same side of transversal is 180 degrees. Thank you.